Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading, and I wanted to give a little uh, video update of the, uh, these are the Asian pears that I stratified the seeds from, our Asian pear that we have in our yard, just to see if I could actually get these things to germinate and uh, produce a, a viable tree, and uh, these are, these look like the winners, so uh, there's about three over there that didn't take, but uh, these are all viable little trees. And so I'm going to grow these out over the next year and, uh, and see how they, uh, they begin to mature. But I'm pretty pleased with uh, we had just taken a, I took a couple of pears, took the seeds out, scored them a little bit with some, you know, just scraped them a little bit with like a knife. But you don't have to do that with those, but I just wanted to make sure that they were going to, you know, hopefully stratify. But uh, took those, put them in some uh, perlite, added some moisture. Put them in the fridge, let them sit over the winter. I put, a, I did it in uh, October. I took the seeds, put them in, and uh, I planted them this spring in uh, March. I took them out, put them in these pots, and uh, they seem to be growing. So, who knows what those fruit will taste like? But uh, as long as you're growing something uh, that's edible, you can put it out in nature. We've got deer that come through our, our landscape up behind our fence. I could plant these trees up there and. Uh, you know, feed the wildlife, and then who knows? Maybe I'll come up with the next uh, Greek pear <laughs> variety, and I could call it uh, P and B P and B pear. <laughs> Maybe that'd be good. All right, well, it's kind of just the update for the little pear pear starts that we've got going here. All right, well, it's Brian from P and B Homesteading.com. Talk to you guys again.